those carefree days unlimited time for everything lots and lots of trips participating in each and every college event be it culturals or sports fussing about should i start studying now or should i start studying later or should i start studying for pg and what not damn i miss those days third year no wonder why is called as a honeymoon period of medical life it surely deserves to be called so having said that i have been getting lot of dms in my channel regarding how to study for third year and because i have recently finished my third year i thought i'll make a video to help all of you so hi hello welcome back i'm prashi kaveri i'm a five year medical student from bangalore india in this video i'll be talking about how a student should approach and study each and every subject in third year to get their best and to score very well in third year now as i told you there's lots and lots of time in third year so don't take it for granted just make sure that you enjoy and uh, you know make a lot out of it but at the same time from the beginning make sure that you try to build your concepts so i used preplada in my third year i used it for three subjects it's ent ofthal and psm and i made my own notes while uh, you know watching the videos from the beginning i didn't fuss about studying textbooks from the beginning my aim was just to finish the video psm by dr vivek jain sir was so good i could make my own notes and because the videos were so crisp and concise it helped me a lot to remember easily after i made videos i made it a point to uh, solve some of the mcqs and not sure all the mcqs but wherever i could i tried solving like 50% of mcqs from all these three subjects one best thing about all the mcqs is that once you click a an answer you will get a detailed explanation about the answer this makes your concepts even more stronger now for example if you have clicked a wrong answer that's completely okay because you will know where you went wrong and those explanations will help you revise the concepts better that will cement the concepts in your brain that gave me a grip over the subject and i seriously started reading textbooks the last two months before exam and because my concepts were very strong it was very easy for me to read uh, the textbooks it was like a cake walk for me okay now having said that third year is one time where you have ample time make sure that you do all the crazy stuff possible and enjoy a lot because you're not going to get free time like this in any other years okay but don't go off your limits just make sure that you study here and there build your basics and uh, third year subjects are very very easy to study and if one wants to score distinction third year is the year because the subjects are very light you have lots of time and you can easily study and score a distinction uh, but remember if you haven't scored a distinction it's not the end of the world and in this video i will be sharing with you all the secret to what i did in third year and how i scored a distinction i hope this helps you all now coming to individual subjects i'll talk about psm first psm is one of the most vast subject in the entire medical okay so what happens is that a lot of students find it extremely boring and in uh, they just don't read it the entire year don't do the mistake as i told you watch videos for all the uh, you know chapters in psm and just before exam when you have like two months read from the textbook or if you are somebody who likes to read then park is a book for you start reading from the beginning so i made two separate videos one about how to read from park and the other about how to finish entire syllabus of psm in 10 days I am hundred percent sure that they are very very effective if followed properly. I leave the link of both the videos in the description box below. Click on that, go watch those videos. I have covered everything in the videos uh, about the books, about how to approach the subject, study tips, how to remember the subject, and everything that a student wants in third year. So make sure that you go and watch those videos for the same. Now coming to practicals, everything practicals is going to be very very general and easy. One thing is that they're going to give you some social clinical. social cases and you need to study that thoroughly because if you do that well it carries like 40 40 marks so if you do that well you're going to get an upper edge so there will be anc cases pnc cases newborn case and all the fever related case hypertension diabetes and all that you can cover most of it from the psm textbook but if for anc pnc and pet i suggest you to go read the textbook uh, from the actual final year textbooks because when you read those topics properly you will have a grip on those topics apart from that why was going to be general and they can ask anything from anywhere just make sure that you read the question paper and go just before you go to your viva because there are a lot of chances that they can ask similar questions and you shouldn't you know miss that at any chance 
and one thing that every examiner is going to focus is on the national immunization schedule don't miss it at all let it be there on the tip of your tongue yeah i think that will do for the subject coming to the second subject i'm going to talk about ofthal now ofthal was my least favorite subject and i did not get a distinction in ofthal uh, but uh, it's okay because i did not put in that much efforts also it's just because i was not interested in studying ofthal uh the thing is i started studying qurana from very beginning okay but then uh, after i read qurana i just realized that i couldn't recall things so it did not interest me and so i just did not study it but um, anybody who's reading qurana you will know that the topics are very very volatile and there are lots of places where things goes above your head and you are just like what am i going to write now things like let's take uh angle open open angle glaucoma now in corona he has explained it so much and if it is given for a 5 marker or 10 marker one person will not know what to write because there is so much i think one person can literally fill the entire answer booklet with just that answer so one thing that i want to suggest everybody is that make notes for all the big big chapters like make your own notes for like glaucoma for neuroophthal for retina and for cornea maybe because it's going to help you like anything is a very big okay so just before exam when you have one single day you can't revise everything instead if you have a notes where you have written all the 10 marker questions and 5 marker questions if you revise that you will cover all the three markers also it's going to save you a lot of time in the exam as well as when you are revising so i suggest everybody to make notes at least for these four topics because they are very very huge and difficult to revise just the day before exams now coming to practicals if you know the proforma well you can do like wonders in your exam so make sure that you learn proforma well and when you go for your clinicals see as many cases as possible all the cataract cases all the ulcers the uh, fungal ulcers the hypofion teri gym pingukula all these cases will be kept for your exam and once if you have seen good number of cases you will remember the findings properly and in the exam uh, the final exam there's no way that you're going to miss it so make sure that you go and see all this properly and one place where you have will have to focus a little more is about the instruments corner uh, i know it's a lot confusing for a lot of students so try to make a separate pdf for the instruments and go through it three to four times so that everything will stay in your head uh, and you can just uh, you know answer all the instrument related questions in the viva and now coming to the next subject i'll talk about ent so ent was my favorite subject in third year uh, just that the book uh, was so good reading i used the book dingra uh, the thing is that you, the book is like a story book okay once you start reading and if you like the subject you can read the entire book in one, two days mostly and it is so easy and everything makes sense so ent was my favorite subject and i loved reading it and uh, the uh, thing is in practicals if you know proforma well you can do very well in ent um, and then at the end of the textbook in ent they have given the operative procedure of all the various operations and they given in a very concise manner so if you go through it once it is going to be very helpful in writing every answer and in the practicals If you have read the textbook once properly, you can answer all the viva questions and all the practical related questions very well too. Apart from this, for instruments, as I told, and ofthal, make a PDF and go through it three to four times so that you can remember it very well. And all the important questions that will be given in your practicals are this ASOM, CSOM, DNS. Uh, atrophic rhinitis tonsil adenoids etc just read this properly so that you will have an extra edge in all these topics okay so coming to the last subject that is forensic medicine and toxicology so the thing is that when i was studying i had this subject in second year now with the change syllabus and change curriculum i think all of you will be having it in the third year the subject is good but the thing is a lot of people will feel like it is just general knowledge it is so general i'm not a medical student and all that and end up not studying don't do that mistake because it's a very very easy uh, subject and relatively easier to score also so if you just give it a blind reading once it's just like newspaper you're going to remember it and you can write exactly the same things on paper and uh, it will get you more marks so the book that i used was case uh, and ready in the beginning but the book is very big okay the actual one i was not uh, using synopsis i bought the actual one i don't know why uh but uh, just one day before exam i just realized that i had a huge chunk and i couldn't finish it at all that's why i switched to sol singhi so uh, just imagine somebody who was studying this book the entire year and one day before exam just switched 
to Sal Singhi but then um, I uh, completely love the decision that I took one day before exam because I knew exactly what to write in the paper I put all the necessary diagrams which are there in the book the flow charts everything and I think I scored around 80 in that paper and I'm really super super proud of me for reading that book even today and coming to practicals if you know all the certificates if you know bone age estimation if you know the osteology part of it if you know all the spotters your practicals is going to be a real cake walk don't neglect toxicology at all because in our paper toxicology came for 40 marks okay and mostly it is uh, having a weightage of 20 marks but uh, you know for your good luck or bad luck if it comes for more marks then you shouldn't get less mark in that no so i always suggest people to read toxicology because uh, the content is so less that you can read and finish it fast don't take chance in toxicology okay that's all for now i think i have covered all the points regarding how a student should approach third year and how he or she should study in third year i think these points will help all of you if you uh, you know follow all this correctly distinction is not a very hard thing and as i told you distinction is not the end of the world or if you don't get distinction that is also not the end of the world you just keep studying and enjoy the process of studying and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share my videos with your friends who like content like this i think it will be of help to somebody or the other out there and um, if it's helping somebody it will motivate me to make more educational videos like this and help people uh, yeah that's all for now enjoy your third year make the most of the memories best of the memories and make sure that you make your basics strong from the beginning uh, study well and clear off your third year with flying colors uh, that's all for now until next time bye bye